Welcome back to Lowe's Motor Speedway. Eight laps complete under caution for a little sprinkle. We're going to get one to go this time by. Eleven cars made an appearance on pit road. Here's our Aflac trivia question for the day. Who scored their first cup victory in NASCAR's longest race, the Coca-Cola 600? We'll give you a few minutes to ponder that one. And don't count the drivers who won here their first ever race in October at this track. Buddy Baker, Charlie Glotzbach, and Jamie McMurray. We're looking for uh, the ones who won in May for their first victory. And Mike, we had several cars like Kevin Harvick, Dale Earnhardt Jr., this 88 car, that were kind of backing up when they dropped the green flag. And we had about 11 of them come to pit road, including Dale Earnhardt Jr. But here's what's <laughs> interesting. They're going to make sure he sees his pit <laughs> pocket. Got this thing going everywhere. on. <laughs> signs flying. But if you notice, they're not putting any fuel in the car. You can only change tires. You can make adjustments. NASCAR is going to throw a caution around lap 40. And the rule that we have when we know they're going to do that is you cannot fuel the car prior to that lap. That's to keep someone from coming in at lap 30 or 35 if we have a caution and then staying out on that lap 40. Okay, Matt Kenseth among those who pitted, Clint Boyer, Michael Waltrip, Jeff Burton. Let's uh, check with Steve Burns. Mike, the early report from Jeff Gordon, he says the front end of the car is okay, but it's very edgy in the back, and he's having a hard time getting to the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah, you could see that, Steve. Uh, he was one of the first cars that ventured up to the top of the track. That's because the car's a little bit loose, and he just can't hook the bottom like he'd like to. And I'd say that a lot of that is just no rubber on the racetrack. To mention the other drivers who pitted, uh, Greg Biffle, Tony Raines, David Stremme, Robbie Gordon and Max Pappas all made pit stops. How about Biffle, Dick? Oh, interesting strategy with Greg Biffle, Mike. They couldn't adjust the chassis on the cars until the race got started today, so they put a round and a half in the left rear. That'll tighten the car up a little bit. But the tires that they took off, they liked them. So they have put lug nuts on them. They're re-gluing those tires so they can put them back on the car again with a known commodity. I, I think that's part of some of these guys' strategies. That's like buffing in a set of tires. You like the tires, buff them in, put them up there, and you can put them on later on, maybe up under green if you need to. Mike Bliss and Robbie Gordon both making pit stops just before we go back to green. First caution of the day for a little bit of rain. So how many did you guess? Drivers who scored their first cup win in the Coca-Cola 600, probably the biggest name on that list would be David Pearson. There were five of them. And here they are. That's actually Casey Mears' his only career win. Matt Kenseth, he did that in his rookie season back in 2000. Jeff Gordon and Bobby Labonte. Set to go green. We have completed 10 laps. They'll take the green flag. Finishing up lap 11, Kyle Busch has led six laps. Pole sitter Ryan Newman, the first two. Watch these restarts, Mike. Uh, spin the tires real easy on this restart. Tell you something else that happened during that little caution period. The sun popped out. Jeff Gordon goes to work right on the bottom against Brian Vickers, who passed him under green. And Denny Hamlin in the 11 has a look on the outside. Now, sometimes, you know, your car's a little bit off. Get a caution like we did there early. Tires go through a little bit of a cycle. All of a sudden, you got a happy car. I'll tell you what, I believe that 083 car, Brian Vickers, is a pretty happy car right now. He's starting to challenge Casey Kane in that nine for the fourth spot. Brian Vickers going to win a race over here, Larry. He ran good over here Saturday night in the uh, in the nationwide race. He had a car that could win the race at Atlanta, very similar racetrack. He'll be up front all day. I can promise you that. Boy, Kevin Harvick climbed the hill between turns one and two and almost got some of that uh, 50th anniversary gold from the safer barrier on the side of his car. Let's see, was it the result of contact? And we see the fender on TV knocked in so bad. It's knocked in about two inches. Got a little smoke coming off that uh, looks like left front, I guess it is. Watch Sam Hornish. No, it's his right front. Actually. To his right. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, and you can see the fender all got all buckled up right there. Now Paul Menard almost gets in the turn two wall, sliding up the hill. 
Looks like Harvick's going to have to stop. Yeah, he is. He has fallen all the way to the back of the pack. Now we see battle between teammates, Joey Logano, who turned 19 years old yesterday in that 20 car, and Denny Hamlin in the 11. That's a battle for ninth. So you were talking about uh, Kyle Busch and how good he was going to run today, and the Gibbs cars, all the Gibbs cars are going to run good today. They, they like this racetrack, and they've got a good setup for here. Let's check with Matt. And I don't know what team had more optimism coming in, Mike. In DW, we talked about cars that really produce someplace, and then you put it aside, sending it for a big marquee event. That's exactly what the two team did with this car that went to victory lane at Atlanta. They refined it. They tweaked on it. Aerodynamic numbers look much better in the wind tunnel, so they saved it for this race, the Coca-Cola 600. He says the car's a little loose on entry and off, but very strong. Logano and Hamlin continue their battle, and Daryl, for teammates, they're fighting awfully hard this early in the race. Yeah, I think that uh, one of them ought to give. Car in the wall, turn one, and it is Harvick. He bounces off the wall, gets down to the track apron, no caution. The bad luck for this 29 car just continues in 2009. There's the yellow. Yes, sir. We'll come around. You can see that right front tire was down from the fender rub. Oh, if it wasn't for bad luck. Here's a look at it this uh, last time around into turn one. Or just one turn a lick. Just went up the wall there, Gil. Pretty calm about it. There's his wife, Delana, looking at the replays. And I know that was a brand new car that they just barely finished to get it out here for this weekend, and they were trying some new things. He was pretty happy in practice the other day. Second caution of the day in Charlotte.